Hi guys, this is gsnl.com and I'm here with the Nokia Lumia 920 but I'm not here to review the device, I'm here to review a very interesting application as you know Mobile World Congress is coming up and we have installed the special app for it here it is the GSMA Mobile World Congress the event will take place between February 25th and February 28th and will be there to report on the newest handsets like the HTC One or uh, also called the M7 Maybe we will catch a glimpse of the Galaxy Note 8.0 and other stuff like that. For now, let's check out the application. So, for example, this is the settings version. You can check for updates and you can even download some data and uh, view the information offline. If you're a foreigner and you're in Barcelona and you want to view the information, you may have to use the uh, offline data if you don't catch uh, free Wi-Fi or you don't have data connectivity. So this is the schedule. This is the list of conferences on Monday, the 25th. There's a Nokia conference where we may see a brand new PureView phone. There's an IBM conference. And then there are the events from Tuesday. A bunch of keynotes here. Wednesday as well, a Samsung conference where I guess we'll be seeing new handsets and new tablets. Then Thursday and that's about it. We can also select stuff like conferences, feature programs and seminars. To select which ones you want to view or you can create your own agenda and fill it with the keynotes you want to attend there's also a list of speakers right here people from ericsson from various carriers um, spokesperson for uh, the gsma event and let's click for example one of the speakers from visa you get a small biography you can favorite that person we can look for someone and then there's the exhibitor section so you get here all the profiles of all the major companies it's taking a while to load so for example let's choose one of these companies this one Accenture this is the location where you can find them the description their address phone fax and website so all the detail you need about them is here you can also check out the products we've got everything from encryption to environment batteries messaging mobile browsers let's check this out probably Mozilla and the likes here it is Firefox App Planet it's going to be a very interesting event and as I said we'll be attending it the countries so you can choose a country like Brazil see which companies from this country are attending and then you can check out the featured area where the most prominent companies are mentioned. Here's AMD for example. Semiconductor Design Innovator. Also attending the event probably with some nifty CPUs. Then there's a news and social area with Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. So this is the official Twitter account. There's also an unofficial Twitter account which I find to be very cool strange uh, fitting on the screen not exactly well fitted to this display so here are the tweets related to GSMA there's also a LinkedIn profile and finally the Facebook one here you can view everything that's happening they're sharing photos they're teasing us and they're saying what's gonna happen in Barcelona in just a couple of days okay there's also a mapping area where you can view various uh, important points on the map and let's see this section here you have a floor plan apparently you have to download more data for this feature to work let's do that maybe in the settings area and check for updates the floor plan is very important as you can see a short update will uh, bring all the information needed to the application so as I said if you're getting lost at Mobile World Congress you should probably use that uh, floor plan since it's a huge area to cover from what I know it should be even bigger than a stadium or even two stadiums or a bunch of stadiums you will even travel from one point to the other using buses using VIP uh, vehicles and specially reserved buses so here we go, hopefully with this update that we're performing right now, the maps will be available. Why is this important for you? You may ask, well, Mobile World Congress is the place where the majority of handsets that you'll see for the rest of the year will be launched. So 
it's a big deal for HTC, for Samsung, for Nokia, for Microsoft, for, I don't know, for any Android device maker and any other rivals, except for Apple that has its own gig someplace else. Okay, so there is not only the Windows Phone version of the app, in case you're wondering, I'm, I've also installed one on the iPad mini, so this is the GSMA app, and these are the floor plans that I was looking for earlier. This is the main section of the GSMA app with a schedule right here. So it, the idea is pretty much the same, but it's uh, got a different fitting to the screen. These are the speakers. I actually find this interface cuter or better looking. These are the exhibitors. There is a section for networking, news and social right here. Mapping once again with floor plans for every, each of the halls that you are attending and publications that will be available and media partners and an info booth with catering, in-town transport and venue overview. Plus obviously the settings and you can create your own account and your own profile. Okay, let's go back to this app and go to the mapping and hopefully the floor plan will be available but apparently not. Okay, this is the my event section where you can create a profile and select a bunch of events to attend, favorite speakers and stuff like that. There is also an NFC badge and you need to install an app for that. I guess it will be useful when I reach the place. And finally the info booth with a venue overview, airport transport, all the details you need, the exits, the entrances, catering and airport transport in case you're coming straight from the airport. So this is the official Mobile World Congress application for Windows Phone and a brief look at the iOS application for the GSMA Mobile World Congress 2013 event that will be attending next week or better said from the 25th of February. That's it from jsnown.com. We give these apps an 8.5 out of 10. They could be just a little bit better, but an 8.5 out of 10 is what they get from us. That's it. Bye bye.